So how does it feel to be here tonight? It's super fun. I love getting all dressed up and feeling beautiful. girly. I'm usually in sweatpants and a t-shirt. Actually, that was what I just came out of about an hour and a half ago. What's more comfortable? <laughs> Definitely the sweatpants. This isn't bad, though. No, I was gonna say, if you choose the flouncy skirts, you can move. You know, you don't get any of the chafing of, you know, right, yeah. no. very tight-knit clothing. Yeah, yeah, and I don't pick the super high heels. I won't do that. No, nope. definitely not a good survival survival. Tip. So I usually don't ask, but since we're talking about your clothes, what are you wearing? I wish I could say it was some fancy designer, but it's Topshop. Topshop at the Grove. Yeah, I just keep it real, you know? <laughs> no. I didn't know what to wear tonight. I've never been to the HFAs. So I was like, I'm just going to keep it very simple. So it's your first time here. Uh, how do you feel? Who are you excited to see? I'm really excited to see Johnny Depp. He's one of my favorite actors. Um, Channing Tatum for obvious reasons. Um, just stare at him. Um, but there's an incredible list of people. Angelina Jolie. I mean, yeah, yeah it'll be a good night. Um, what project are you working on right now that you're most excited about? Well, I just finished wrapping a feature that I wrote, produced, and starred in called Searching for Katie. And it's already out and available online, on demand. Uh, we just wrapped that last week. So I'm still I'm still recovering, and then I go into the studio and start working on my second album this uh, Monday. And what can we expect from that album? A lot of pop, electronic, awesome stuff. I'm working with one of the guys who did a, a bunch of songs off Lord's album, so it'll be kind of dark pop electronic. I'm really excited. Cool. Now, what do you think of the whole Taylor Swift taking her music off Spotify? It's an interesting choice. I mean, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan, so I was one of the first people to download the full album the second it came out, so it didn't bother me. I've got it on repeat in my iPhone, and I never buy full albums on iTunes. So it didn't... I'm such a fan, it didn't bother me, but I can see where, where other Spotify users would be a little upset. So you yourself wouldn't be following in those footsteps? No, my musical stay on Spotify, I think. We gotta, we gotta keep... Until I'm as big as Taylor Swift, which probably won't ever happen. Uh, we got to keep it to going out to the masses as much as possible. <laughs> um, what uh, What do you think of her new album? I love it. I'm obsessed. I know every word to every song. I thought it was really smart, really sophisticated, different sound from her. I love all of the electronic elements. That's sort of where, where my music is based. And so it was just fun to see her transition into a little bit more of a sophisticated, less bubblegum pop um, sound. Yeah. And what, what are your other musical influences? Oh man! I mean, I love. I, mm, I well, I I usually love the mainstream pop. Like Katy Perry is probably one of my favorite artists. Um, but as far as just electronic, Tiesto, Calvin Harris. Um, but I also love this band Foxes. That's based in the UK, and they sort of combine a lot of electronic elements with pop and um, anything that has like a driving symphonic sound. I think that's really cool. Yeah. What's the number one question you want to be asked on a red carpet? Well, I am usually in your position because I host. I used to host a lot, uh, and I was really horrible. So what was your, What was your? I was really horrible at asking the good questions. When you did it, what was like your go-to question? I, I was always fascinated with what people's routines were prior to getting ready, which sounds so silly, but it's like, yeah, it's like how many how many of these actors have dieted for three days and done like, you know, two two day juice cleanses, and then how many of them just rolled out of bed and ate a cheeseburger, and you know, I don't know. I think that's always fun. Um, I really was an hour and a half ago. I don't have I don't have a, a makeup person or a hair person or a stylist. Sometimes, sometimes I will, but for the most part, I like to keep it easy breezy. You did the eyes. I did all of it. Really? Michelle Fawn, she's got these amazing tutorials on YouTube. <laughs> now we got these YouTube beauty gurus that can help us with all these things. So keep it easy, keep it stress free. That's how I like to do it. Hey everybody, I'm Taryn Southern. Follow at Hollywood on Twitter. You know you want to.